Hello, this video is going to show how we can automatically generate test cases with the option TB Extreme inside of TB Run. Now, the first question is, well, why do this? Why automatically generate test cases? Well, there's four scenarios where this may be useful. First of all, perhaps you just want to obtain a high level of structural coverage, in which case the tool can rapidly do this. Alternatively, maybe you have some code that works and you want to refactor it. Well, before refactoring it, you could automatically run the automatic test case generation and obtain some test cases. You can then refactor the code and execute those test cases again to ensure the code does what it did before. Or maybe you've already tested the code against the requirements and now you want to be able to, to try, well, what happens if I give uh, a null pointer? What happens if I pass values that are uh, out of the range? In which case, we can automatically perform robustness tests. And then finally, maybe you're learning about unit testing and you're unsure about how to, to go about testing some code. Well, you can get the tool to automatically generate test cases and then try and understand how it's actually done those and inspire from that. Well, let's take a look at this. And I'm going to show two examples, first of all with some C code and then with some C++ code. OK, here we have TV Run, and inside here I have uh, this cache register file. And what I want to be able to do is rapidly get some coverage for this. So first of all, I'm going to create a sequence. So let's call this uh, UT Robustness, or just Robust, that's easier. OK, I want code coverage. I want to test, uh, I want to create stubs so in case any functions are missing, and there are some missing. I want to create any globals in case there are any variables that are missing. Let's do a, a test build, and I want to use this default, that's fine, and let's go and do continue on that. So that's now done a test build. I've used the IR compiler, and that has now built successfully. So we can also see we've stubbed all the functions that were missing. So now I can go to the extreme test here, and there's a number of, of options that I can set. So all kinds of various options for trying minimum and maximum, generating various values for stub return values. I'm going to accept these defaults here. I've also told it to use the, the null for, for pointers. Take those options, and now let's simply go and run the tabular extreme test. So what's this done? Well, first of all, it's generated 30 test cases. It's then generated a harness. It built it using the IR compiler. It then executed it on the target, and it basically captured the outputs from the target. It's now saved those outputs, and it's executed a second time to make sure we're getting the same values as before. And as we can see, all the tests have passed. We can take a look at some of these tests. We can see the inputs and the outputs. Let's take a look at uh, maybe this one here. And we can see it's actually, there are no inputs except the stubs. So it's actually used the stubs and it's got set the, the stubs to do various things like returning different values. And we can see we've actually obtained 91% statement coverage, 89% branch decision coverage. So that's an example on some C code. Now let's switch and take a look at some C++ code. So I'm going to switch my compiler from IR and I'm going to use the Microsoft Visual Studio here. And I'm going to open this particular C++ file. And inside here, I'm going to open a sequence that I've previously prepared. OK, and this is some auto-generated code from Rhapsody in this particular case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just run the tabular extreme test. In this case, it's generated 335 test cases. It's executed the first time in order to get the, the uh, output values. It's then saved those, and as we've seen, it's executed a second time. And we can check that all the test cases have passed. And at the same time, we can now see we've obtained 66% statement coverage and 56% branch decision coverage on that code. So hopefully that's given you an idea of the automatic test case generation using TB Extreme. And if you'd like more information, then please don't hesitate to contact us at LDRE. Thank you.